Greetings, Commanders. This is Pagan Horde, and we are now on our 14th episode of this ongoing series. Now, what happened in between? Uh, the timeline advanced a bit. I did uh, the test drive flashpoint. The test drive flashpoint is only one skull, so it was not really worth uh, recording for, for the series. But it is important to uh, unlock all the uh, potential quad mechs for the future of the series. So we did that in between. So the timeline advanced a bit as we had to move to a remote location to make uh, that that flashpoint. Which brought us ironically on Terra itself. The uh, center of a lot of uh, online drama. But here we are back on Terra. Funnily enough. So everything advanced just a bit for me to do that uh, flashpoint. So it wasn't really worth recording. I did, however, record the building of the dervish, which had an audio failure. Uh, I fixed all my audio problems at this point, but let's meet the dervish, all right? So, it, for this for this beautiful boy, we did our, we use our twin LRM twenty clan. We laded it up with plenty of Artemis. We gave him two ER medium laser as backups. As well as the remaining three tons of weapon I just strapped on Inferno rockets. So uh, it's, a, it's both a backup weapon and a means to just unleash on a dangerous enemy. He has some active probe and guardian ECM. Uh, all of that without using any special armor. He just bl regular armor and uh, inner sphere endo steel. So this guy will be very interesting with its uh, fire control system that gives more range to missile. I think it's gonna be uh, he's gonna be pretty good. A, a total alpha strike if I unleash all the rockets of 345 with inferno and all that. He's gonna be very interesting. Beautiful. So this is now our core group. We are getting uh, into the medium phase I can, with one heavy. This boy, the Strider, is no longer very useful. I uh, will probably get rid of him in a few days. Uh, the Lamb RB, I'm still using it. But I'm looking for parts to maybe upgrade to a Lamb of a higher tonnage. That would be our, our next goal. Either we upgrade him, or either we we stop using him in favor of the uh, dervish. I'm not sure yet. We're also gonna work through uh, start upgrading the drop size next, so that we can maybe drop one more mech, the dervish, and to, that will significantly uh, upgrade our uh, difficulty setting as well. So that's the plan. So right now, we have access to up to three Skull mission, and that's exactly what we will do. A three Skull mission against a demolition, that's scary, because turrets are scary. Let's start with the uh, escort, and let's see how this one goes. There we go. Now, let's bring the big boy, the Bushi. And now we have to make a choice. Do we bring this one or this one? Let's bring the Mad Cat Eve to bring to show you some new stuff. And let's keep on the Irby for perhaps one of its last mission. Because the Irby, the bombing runs are superb and really, really useful. But once he sends his two bombing runs done, oh, he's no longer very efficient. Doctor, what were you piloting, Doctor, last time? You were piloting the Chameleon, which I'm not bringing on this one. Gridlock, you're the Chaparral Hammer, you are the Tiger. Uh, you are still on this one. Stinky, what were you using? Adder, Orc, or Bushy? Yes, you were on the Bushy. Doctor, well, Doctor, you're going to pilot the, the Mad Cat for that one. Beautiful. So let's go try this Escort in a Badland. And let's hope to uh, get even more interesting mechs online. See you in a sec. Alright, let's escort. Men of the people, I am. Absolutely. Command uh, the politician is on, politician is already on the fire. Usually that would make me happy. 
Okay, so we have some help. So heat is going to be a thing. All right. So we have a blocking force. We can estimate it to be in this area. Uh, this is the traditional landing zone. Yeah. If the heat is such an issue, perhaps we could go do the, the water route instead. Let's see if that's smart. Water does give you less evasion. That's usually the problem. Alright, so what do we got? A with word, okay. A fire starter. M4. Javelin and Locust. Okay, so that's a bit disappointing. Ready to run. Let's hurry up and move as much as we can. The water will give you less movement and less evasion. But if the water is such a thing as they said, the pardon me, the temperature is such a thing, that's gonna be worth it. We'll see if it's a gamble that pays off. Hopefully the Anubis here is going to draw some fire. That's a nice loadout. Good to go. Okay. Spawn protection off. Let's go. I'm not sure what the M4 has. Rack 2. Well, why not? Good to go. So, let's get close enough into uh, heavy explosive range. That worked. I missed with the big uh, laser, but good enough. That's a good hit. I don't think I'll need to drop the big bombs on uh, this lot. I'll just. Uh, Pew pew this this guy. Mm-hmm. Tag barrage is in a good spot. That'll do. Alright, so you left at the barrage. I'm gonna try and go into direct fire mode with this bad boy. Just like that. Yep, that worked. I want more arrow 4 tanks, like the big ones with twin arrow 4 and uh, 1500 armor or something like that. I remember there's some of these near the end game, and I'm gonna run them, even in the end game. Poor little javelin. Alright, that's the rag 2 from a fire starter. The Locust started fleeing. Ready for order. Not a fan of this behavior, to be blunt. Now let's go. see uh, how's the Crusaders doing. Getting a bit of uh, le less uh, accuracy because I'm in a mineral field. Yeah, but that's alright. There you go. Right there, just on the edge of the barrage. Not gonna fire the infernal rocket, just a streak MRM and see if it connects. There you go. Missiles, man. I love them. All the big guns are no longer working in a rogue deck. I mean, um, all the, the recall and the knockdown and all the shenanigans that was added over the year. However, missiles. They just work all the time. Which is probably the next thing that will be nerfed. Until then, though. Until then, you can enjoy this. Oof! These NLRM at seven, seven damage each are quite the thing. Uh, bad hit chance, but let's try it anyway. Oh, 
Okay. So the locust came back. I've got your back. Perhaps I can get it now. Bad hit chance, but let's try anyway. Yeah, the streak didn't lock. Okay. So, so far the blocking force is a bit underwhelming. So let's get rid of them as quickly as possible so we can move on to more interesting stuff. Yeah. Oh well. Negative damage. Miss Gridlock, however, and her direct guided missile still has a 66 to hit. Eh, it's a miss. You? I was on the edge there with the Eve. I didn't take any damage. That's cool. You go forward. Kind of a chance. Good enough. Let's just pew. You know, I might actually, because these are fairly easy and we, it's quite under control, I'm gonna start the escort uh, right next turn with the Herbie. Accelerating to maximum speed. Alright, Strick MRM connected, so goodbye to you. Crusader, you have no... Okay, you cannot traverse this terrain, you have to go around. Uh -huh. My bad. So let's just bring the tank on dry land. It's gonna make things easier for them. Oh, you actually scratched me, you little punk. Yeah, we got this. That's an interesting combo, a rack two and flamers. So let's not uh, f round. Let's just start the uh, start the escort. We got this. Let's just be careful. The only problem is that our tank right here is going to get the attention of everybody, I think. But. Uh, Let's just move along anyway. Nice. Solid connection on that one. What do you need? Let's get you on dry land. There we go. Confirm. If this if this keeps up, we might have to go try and punch to force call. Waiting for orders. Q uh Huge, uh, huge reinforcements that kicks my ass. Maybe one day I'll learn to not jinx it. I think I hit something good. You hit something good, indeed. Now, can I finish it? Yes. Those streaks MRM are really good. That's one less hostile on the field. Makes this bushy quite deadly. Alright, let's gain some evasion for you, for when the, when the reinforcement pops up. Strix MRM might be my new favorite MRM. So, what do we got? As soon as we move our first one, we'll get some answers, I think. There we go. We have a Stinger Lamb, really. A Ranger Thingy. A mortar thingy. An enforcer. An enforcer is a decent mech. Standing by. I probably have no chance of hitting anything right now, yeah. So let's just wait. Commander. Crusader, because of your uh, Artemis, you might have some chance. If I switch back to Artemis. Yeah. I mean, 59 is nothing to sniff at. 48 with the, that guy. We're gonna go with you 
uh, mortars can be annoying. You don't have a lot of armor, so... There we go. Artemis, baby. What else you got for me? This is a Sleep Near Mark II with a decent weapon loadout. Let's fire. What does uh, this Ranger have? I'll see you in a sec. What does the Ranger has? Dual machine guns and small lasers. That's yeah, a shit ton of armor though. So you too has decent stuff. Let's just try to not go into the fire. Something like that. That's just a little bad little transport. That's not the best. You go here. No, not the Irby. Ah, it's selecting the Irby. Sorry. You go there. Alright, so you move here. And yeah, you have a good chance. Good enough. Yeah. Uh Miss Mr. Tiger. Mr. Tiger, let's see if we can do a flanking move. It's not the best chance in the world, but try it. Oh, that's nice. The big gun connected. Now, let's see if we can get a direct hit on that lamb with an arrow 4 guided. That would be devastating for that little thing. Beautiful. There we go. Nice and open. And now the last candidate is a prowler. Still gonna try to avoid the fire for this turn. Ah, decent hit chance on the enforcer. Yo, Mr. Zappy connected. And the pilot hit as well. You're not having a good time there. Uh, we can stand in the water and fire our little laser too. There you go. Beautiful. So, Mr. Bushwaka. Let's go up here. Still a good 60% to hit with the streak. Nice! I'm loving this weapon system. Full speed. Pew pew. Yes. Oh, you can see why the, uh, the Irby Lamb is no longer very useful at this point. I think I will replace it by the with the dervish. Yeah. Chaparral. Roger. That's gonna hurt. Take this. Boom. How did that taste? Right, well I don't have oh no, I don't have much choice but to walk through the fire and the flame. It's not much damage. Yes, Mr. Tiger. So you started fleeing. So let's see if we can uh, get an enforcer. Small hits. Full throttle. Full throttle. Can you hit the... You can. We're lucky of having vehicles with decent firepower. So our poor uh, poor enemies don't have much of a chance between my mechs, the allies and the vehicles. This is fairly in the bag. Affirmative. Enjoy! Neutralize indeed. Uh, let's go over here. The last guy in the back is a 
it's going to be hard to hit. Let's see if he comes back for another pass. If not, let's try a long range shot with the bushy. I, since it's all streak, no problem pressing fire. It doesn't matter if I miss. What do you got? Hey, one hit. What will you do, little guy? Ooh, through armor critical. That's annoying. I don't like you anymore. So let's uh, let's get rid of you. What was your weapon system that gave through armor critical? I cannot. I'm not sure. You. Let's bring those vehicles forward. Let's kill them with one of the escort. There you go. A sleep near has a decent loadout. Alright, let's just uh, try and hurry up and get everybody to the escort zone. Actually, guys, I'm gonna make a little cut here to save you the uh, minute or two of just effing around. So, see you in a sec. Alright, guys, so we move right on the edge there. Uh, I moved everything except the, uh, the escort into the zone. So, let's see what we got. Oh, they're appearing in our back. I didn't see that one coming. Usually they get they appear over here. Alright. Little surprise. Let's just get these uh, four boys up here before we take a look at the rest of the enemies. Did I make a mistake and leave one of them there? Here's so. Okay, so commando, something, something. That looks like a cephalus. That looks like the uh, lay you or something similar. Okay. So let's turn around. I expected them to be over here. There's something else. Battle armor, alright. Well, none of that is scary. At least not anymore. Follow my lead. Yes, Commander. Let's, uh... Roger let's that. lose the missiles. There you go. Yeah, I think we made some great choices and our missile build it's, it's just working right now. Uh, are you too far away for the bombs? No. There we go. Bombing runs are so useful. But maybe if we had a uh, higher tonnage lamb, we could at least have some more backup weapons and, you know, do something in between those two bombing runs. Sha Yu, yeah, that's the name. That was sloppy, man. Okay, so my fault, I left uh, one guy vulnerable outside. So we'll play the reserve game for them so they can at least keep their um, evasion until last minute. Ow. Alright, you go in. And fire at the back. There we go. Do what you can. Waiting for orders. Mad Cat. No, no, our uh, fake Mad Cat 55 ton. Can you get a shot? Not really. But maybe a stray shot can happen. Net warriors. 
And it wasn't enough. What about you? If you cannot get a direct, you're just gonna go pretty regular artillery. Boing. There we go. This Sha Yu is a big stelter. Typical Capellan. Alright, we can afford to now brace them. So we got the four of them. We got the bonus C bill. We'll take it. I think uh, we are uh, confident now to go do the uh, base destruction at Three Skull against Republic for the next video, for the next battle, I mean, which should be much more dangerous. Alright, so our last of the regular missiles. It was worth it. Try it like this. I'll send. Oh, there he is. I'll send the rest of the bombs on these uh, little guy. Tag barrage and everything. There you go. Yeah, we're now confident to go to uh, three skull against Republic. Might be regretting it soon enough. But our new missile, accurate missile uh, guys are truly doing good work. Alright, let's be careful for a little tank. Reporting light damage. Standing by. Move order received. There you go. I mean, 50% is not great, but against these little guy, 7 damage per hit. Done, it just works. So no more ECM, uh, panicked and destabilized, it's going to be much easier to hit. Ooh, you're quite nice, see? You need more practice. Quite happy to be standing in the water with those plasma residue. Mr. Tiger, can you actually hit something? The Tiger is the one that is now uh, no longer very efficient. We could perhaps look for a better tank. That would be a direct upgrade. Or even a second Chaparral, because these things just kills. There you go. Enjoy. All right, guys. Uh, how, how about a second? Uh, how about a second uh, cut? Because uh, we're we got this. We just need to um, finish off a bit of a uh, foot soldier, and the cephalus can be a stealth and mech that is hard to hit. So let's just uh, we say we got this, and we'll see you at the salvage cream. See you. See you in a bit. Okay, so that went easily enough. The kills are very well uh, reported over everybody. That's nice. Yeah, let's perhaps seek to replace the tiger in the in the next few uh, missions. So Cephalus, not uh, with a cargo truck. Uh, Stinger Lamb, blah. Dual machine gun. A Vulcan gun pod. A wing-mounted weapon. Okay. Against their unit type. More accuracy against squad. Alright.
So you're uh, turning your lamb into a warthog with this, which is a nice image. Gyro defense, sure. A lamb engine. I have zero. I will take it. Lamb replacement parts, sure. Ammo rack two. There's a chameleon here. I already have one of them. Just not a lot of interesting stuff in there. In here. Not gonna take the uh, Vulcan cannon, even if that sounds great. I want to. Uh, if I build another lamb, it's all gonna be about those Hellfire bomb again. It's just too damn useful to neutralize an entire group with heat. Engine core 250, could that be used somewhere? Alright, well. Let's just go for uh, Endo Steel Clan then, because that can always be useful somewhere. Let's go for that. Now, all of these I'll just crap as soon as I can. Tag, I was out of tag. Machine gun, F. Mwah. I don't know. Will I ever use something like that? Let's keep it for the novelty, but. Eh. Sensors clan. I think I have enough of these. Yeah, four now. Marvelous. So this was uh, much easier than I expected. So let next one. Let's go straight into the uh, the the blah, blah, base destruction at three skulls. See you in a sec. All right. So in between the uh, the repairs were incon inconsequential of just. Uh, three days repair so we're jumping straight into the destroy base i have replaced the uh, herby with the dervish in the hopes that we can uh, get turrets from long range i think that will be more he helpful than uh, a bombing run in this one so what do we got okay so there's gonna be one turret here one here probably in the back we appear to have some allies. I'm gonna land on the high ground over here. I think that would be the smartest move. The allies are probably gonna be far away, but I think it's worth it. We're gonna try to use the high ground to our advantage. Oh, actually, the allies are close enough. That's cool. What do we got? Centurion, Wolverine, Badger, Rotunda. Okay. So we're not gonna go too far. We don't want to get in direct firing range of too much. Let's move. So we can see that. An ATM 12. Okay, that's dangerous. That is a sniper turret with a PPC, okay. Uh, if the ATM turret doesn't have extended range, it sh not should be so bad. The, sni the sniper turret will be more dangerous. So far I don't see any um, artillery. Heavy AC, okay. Sniper. Sniper. So we have two sniper. These are the long range run one we should focus on for now. Okay, so the plan will be to try to uh, get rid of the turrets with our long-range LRMs while the rest of the folks would take care of uh, whatever comes our way. That's the plan. Something like this. Try not to commit too much. What did you do? 
I re okay. So the scorpion. You can see we're starting to have quads because uh, in the previous, in between last episode, I did the uh, test drive. That's why we're starting to see quads. Scorpions are the 50 or 55 tonner quads, if I am not mistaken. So, that's the new beautiful dervish. We're gonna set him up here and try to get rid of one or those two uh, sniper turrets. Let's go with this guy. It's at extreme range, even max range, yeah, even for LRM. We're still gonna get them. Hammer. You don't. Well, you won't have much target right now, so let's just put you on the side here. Arctic something. Fox. Okay. Same thing for you, Bushy. For now, let's be patient. Do I have decent hit chance in direct? Not really. So, Crusader, Crusader, you're gonna go up as well. Next to our Dervish. Roger. And try to finish him up, finish up this one. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, for our Chaparral. Uh, I think you two can do some damage with some direct attack. Let's try this. Like this. Eh, it's not the best, but it'll do. Arctic Fox. Why are you running? All the pulse, okay. But you're a short range, so for now. The plan works. We're gonna keep uh, just doing this. So, what kind of AC are you running? Two tens, okay. What else we got out there? Stinky. I'm not gonna go forward right away, I'm gonna let them come to us when it comes to uh, our frontliner. Crusader is doing fine. A huntsman. And that's interesting. That's the uh, that's the uh, designation for Inner Sphere uh, uh, Vapor Eagle, right? 50 tonner, yeah. He has some good weapons. So we're gonna have to respect that one. There's two of them. Okay. Yes, I'm there. Eh. Bot shots. What do we got at 13? I don't know what that was. Maybe just a tag? Oh, I have a back. You're giving me a back. Let's try this. Nice. You should be panicking. But I'm. St we're gonna keep on our um, plan to use the long range against the turrets. Even if I probably could get a back shot on the scorpion with him. Let's get the other PPC turrets. There's some sort of noise going outside. I hope it doesn't get recorded. I hope. Uh, let's see if we can finish off this guy. Gotcha. You are in a perfect position to perhaps finish the Scorpion. I'm not gonna send all the Inferno rocket, just the streets. Gotcha. You shouldn't show you back to the enemy like this. Ready for 
So, now that the long range are destroyed, this uh, standard ATM appears to be out of range. We're just gonna finish off this one. Nice. Let's uh, do the same thing with the Crusader. Finish up these guys. Probably a bit of an overkill to fire them both, but eh. Fire and reload. So we have the two huntsmen that are down there. These guys, we have to respect them. They have decent weaponry. And we can probably safely bet that as soon as we destroy uh, some of the buildings, there are going to be reinforcements. But I think we can start uh, going down from our perch a bit. Clear the way. I'm coming in fast. And I think you can have all of that. Streak misfired. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, heat stuff. What are you firing? One shot, long dumb, and thunderbolt. Interesting. All right, so let's try to get an angle. I saw a nice little blue line here. Let's go. That's something. Sure. Now, can you? Sure. You take care of this. Copy that. And the artillery is going to scratch the building too, so it's worth it. Let's focus with the arrow 4 on the buildings themselves. And perhaps the last uh, turret. It's a good plan. Mr. Stinky, you get a nice green line. And you're going to use it. To uh, not as much as effect as I wanted or hoped. We gotta respect those huntsmen. A 50 ton huntsman is a very nice mech. But right now we're almost okay in the 50 ton ish zone. We start thinking of heavies. Yeah, let's finish you off. There we go. Make sure it never fires. That is gone. Now the uh, arrow 4 can concentrate on the base. Make short work of it. Artillery is very efficient against building. So, so far our foray into 3 skull is working quite well. But we didn't face any uh, supporting lands or any really... Our, and our landing zone here is very good. I think that, that plan worked out perfectly. 48 for you. 29 for you. 48 it is. There we go. Sinclair. Interesting. So you, Miss Chaparral, have a perfect line to start getting rid of those buildings. There we go. You, Mr. Mad Cat, have reasonable hit chance against this guy. I would be stressed too. You, you Mr. Tiger, you're gonna move forward. And fire. What do you think, guys, in the comments could be a good replacement Ow, for a tiger? Should we go uh, to a... What kind of tank would be would work? Those are a reasonable hit chance again. Let's go with you and flank you. There we go. Okay. 
Nice heat, 73. Wow. And that's with just two. Ooh, Thunderbolt system. So, Thunderbolt healed heat delivery could be a thing. Get, there's a 15 and a 20. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's actually a not bad build. Receiving you. Aye, aye. 55. 61. And you're open, so you're the lucky boy. Panicked. Easier to hit. Even better. And on fire. That's how I like my enemies. Panicked and on fire. 59. Yeah. There we go. A bit sad to see the beautiful Ultra 10 destroyed, however. Can we get a direct shot to the guy who is... Uh, Shut down? I don't think so. Let's pour ourselves into stray shot zone. Let's do this. Yeah. There we go. I don't think you can get stray shot with streak weapons though. Standing by. But you can with an AC ten. Let's crank it up. Goodbye to you. Target neutralized. What do you need? I need you to destroy some building. Firing. Boing. Okay, your leg is gone. Well, boing. Now I have an airstrike, but I don't need it. <laughs> but the good thing is, it's working. Maybe I could use it against uh, the uh, the reinforcements if there's any. That could be a thing. Okay. A few scratches on the Crusader. Panic. So for this uh, this mission, I went uh, full salvage at six pieces. So there's actually uh, a good chance of getting a full huntsman out of this. Yeah. I don't know if I actually need one right now. We're sitting pretty good. Unless we start dropping more, ma upgrading the. Uh, the drop tonnage and start dropping more max. <laughs> you missed a building with your streaks? That's funny. Okay. One out of two. I don't see reinforcements. There might not be. But sometimes the reinforcement triggers only when you get close to the base. All right, so speed. let's not discount them yet. From Commander. Double time, let's go. Target get your lance to the LZ Commander. Okay, the LZ is close to the base, so either way we're we are gonna know. Orders. I think there will be a reinforcements because the mission would be over if not. There we are. And since we went for salvage, uh, it might be wise to actually uh, face the reinforcements. Where are they? They're in the back. Interesting. We got a Blackjack Omni. Cool. Nova C. Wolfhound and Stinger. Okay, so now they have the high ground that we used to uh, occupy. But our allies there are probably gonna entertain them a bit. Copy that. 
Can you direct guided? Yeah. Not the greatest hit I've ever seen. But I'm gonna make the decision to uh, to fight them so that we can get more salvage. Even if we don't necessarily me need uh, the mechs that we see here, there's always good uh, juicy components to get. Hey, it's a hit, Ready for Mr. Dervish. Mr. Dervish, you're gonna be. You're gonna fire rockets and be a bastard. There we go. You're gonna sprint closer as well. We're running out of uh, ATM standard. Perhaps we should uh, put two or three bins of uh, standard in just one of every explosive. Seems to be using the standard almost all the time. Standing by. Let's move. So which one do I kill? You. Bye. We are doing quite well. I think the uh, the early game struggles are finally behind us. Now we are into the struggle of trying to power up. Let's get into heavy explosive range. Boom. So there's one that is already falling on his ass. The Nova. I think that's a Nova with the Ultra. AC-20. That's the case, it would be pretty sweet to salvage that. Mr. Bushy is a bit far away though. Receiving you. On it. Now let's switch to uh, regular. Regular ammo. Cannot. Okay, you only have Artemis, okay. You're not gonna get good uh, chances to hit with indirect. That's all right. We got this. So our first foray into three skull is going fairly well. I think that we may uh, want to aim higher. What do you need? Uh, you're too far for in for direct, so let's go into classic ar artillery. Let's fire on this guy. Moin. Scratching my allies a bit, but who cares. Yes, Commander. Now, for you, the only direct line is in the fire, though. But you do have... You're the one who has options. Let's just do uh, standard indirect. There you go. Enjoy. Let's fire the bolt down rockets. Oh yeah. I'm out of short range the Omni Jack with two LBX is actually not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, the Omni Jack is an excellent mech. It's a 50 tonner as well, instead of 45. Plenty of room for shenanigans. Ow. I mean, we do have the um, the two uh, rotary rifle yeah. primitives that we've loaded last time. I mean, an Omni Jack could run this. Perfectly. I'm taking the shot. Let's do this. So would perhaps say a huntsman. We're getting spoiled for choice right now in the uh, medium category. That's good. That means we're doing Roger. well. Roger. Good to go. 
you now are gonna go into this range. Nice. That hit something good. I mean, two LBX10 is not just to sniff at. Cluster shot will be, would be very accurate. So I'm going to kick you, or even punch. No, kick and go full LRM, point blank, because it's clan stuff. <laughs> the dervish man. The Dervish. Guided direct. There you go. <laughs> Ow. I'm quite happy he shot the, the ally vehicle and not mine. So it's not an Ultra 20 but a Gauss rifle. Roger that. Noted. Hey. Well guys, that went very well. I'm happy with our our new mech, our performing. We're getting some accurate missile at long range, so... We are finally uh, out of the uh, early game struggle, I think. I'll see you in a bit at the salvage screen. Alright, let's take a quick look at what we got. We went for full salvage on this one. The Crusader was definitely the star of the show. That is a lot of death. Nice. Nice. So. There is one part of that Omni Jack. Arm mounted, arm mounted accuracy is quite cool. And we have enough to build a Huntsman. Damn. Okay. Yes, that could be a thing. We have three parts of the Scorpion. Wow. Wow. It's an option. An ATM-12 is a st nice system. Laser AMS, I always love those. Improved medium heavy laser. Some streak LRM-5. Streak 6. Energy and heat. Yeah. XL clan. Always need those. Gyro XL. Always need those and heat sink kits. We have all the stuff in this one. All the stuff. So, heat sink kits are still a priority. I don't have enough of them to be comfortable. Axel Clan is still a priority. That would be pretty sweet. I don't have any of them right now to make any kind of new build. But I could just take a stake heat. Heat is very important. Let's take energy and let's take two parts of a huntsman. I, huntsman is not a priority because we already have pretty good 50 tonners. But just in case we can have, maybe make a backup, I think we're gonna take these on priority and Cross our finger to get more Huntsman's Park. That's the plan. One, two, no. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, ATM 12, that's a sweet one. Exostar, let's see, Intersphere with Accuracy. Meh. Small Pulse Clan, I think we're good. Ultra 2. Ultra 2 is a fine system, even if the damage uh, for tonnage is not very good. The range is awesome. Armor clan, we don't need that. We don't need that. Basic, steel, standard. 
ATM ammos. We'll take it. We can add that system onto uh, new stuff. Streak LRM. I'm not a fan of Streak LRM. But I'm a fan of Streak SRM. Okay. So we got a bit disappointed in the uh, Huntsman department. But it's alright. It's not a super priority. And it's a mech that we can... We're probably going to see uh, more of in the future. So it's not great. But uh, we're good. This and this was the priority... Uh, to be able to uh, build new stuff in the future. So, okay, guys, this was our first foray into a double bin of uh, three skull mission. The destroy base was uh, pretty good. I mean, uh, we didn't get any artillery or dangerous stuff that could have at long range that could have uh, destroyed us. And we had a good landing zone to be able to pick off target before they were dangerous. I think that is a very satisfying foray into the three skull mission and i think we're gonna perhaps try to go even higher punch at three and a half maybe, maybe more next time all right guys see you on the next one please do the youtube stuff it is important see you next time